Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I have a lot of energy right now because I'm about to do something I know something about. Now, I need your guys' help first and foremost. Why am I screaming like this? Okay, calm down. ADHD is a beautiful drug. This beard, should I uh, shave it or keep it or shave it? Comment down below right now what I should do, please, because I'm like, I'm just trying this stuff out, you know what I mean? But yeah, anyway, people, today I am going to go ahead and rate YouTubers' hairstyles from one to five. And yeah, let's just get into the video. Woo! Okay, and then calm down. It's fine. Everything's fine. I have some YouTubers that I'm actually watching and that I look up to and then I also have some random people that's, you know, just in here that I know a lot of people are going to recognize. So I'm gonna, you know, give my full honest opinion on these guys' hairstyles. So the first one out, people, is Mr. Beast. Everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. He's an amazing person, it seems like. I've never met him myself, but uh, he seems like a genuine human being and I really like him. But when it comes to his hairstyle, where do I begin? Mr. Beast seems like the type of guy who doesn't care about his hair that much. He just wakes up and he's like, meh, whatever, you know what I mean? It's very standard, straightforward type of hairstyle, but he's just so nice. It's hard to critique him on his hair, but it's, how can I say this? He just seems like he just, he don't care that much and that's totally fine. I'm gonna have to put Mr. Beast in at, his personality is five, his hairstyle is, oh, I'm gonna have to put him in at two, okay? God damn, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just very irregular regular and straightforward and it you can tell he's he, that's not something he really puts his mind to. He uh, puts his mind to giving people Lamborghinis and stuff like that. So that's an amazing thing to do. But this is just literally here. All right, people, number two. We have Ruben. El Rubius, Espanol, YouTuber. We're from the same city, Bergen, Norway, but he moved to Spain and he has become a humongous YouTuber in Spain. And his hairstyle right now is silver blonde and I think it looks super, super dope on him. I was thinking to myself, maybe I should go ahead and do the same sort of thing. You know, I've always wanted to have silver blonde hair. So I'm gonna have to put him in on a a high 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 three or a low four I'm gonna put him on a high three because I know he doesn't put too much effort into his hair he has his own hairstyle but he doesn't spend too much time you know doing his hair but uh it's a high three like you can tell he's like actually aware of his hair you know what I mean all right people number three except the guy from Ireland yeah basically he would fit in here at one because of the color but I mean it's it's, it's a normal hairstyle it's it's normal he I'm gonna have to put him in at a three okay but still Ruben is still better than that hairstyle in my opinion okay all right then we have the godfather of podcasts i've seen every single one of his podcasts since like episode 600 or something like i've spent a tremendous amount of time just watching this guy and i'm so fascinated by the whole dude but he doesn't have any hair on his head he's balding to say it you know very bluntly but the thing is even though you're bald it's still kind of like a style you know what i mean and his head shape allows him to be bald and look really good whilst being bald you know what i mean i mean me myself if i were to go bald it would look so horrendous because my head is sharp you're not supposed to have a sharp head if you're bald it's, it's got to be more square like you know what i mean but yeah he looks good bald he wears it amazingly i'm gonna put him on a three wait donald trump all right trumpy boy where do i even place this uh his hair is i don't know if it's real or fake I, i've seen so many videos of it falling off i'm just gonna put him on a two because he he's old he still has a lot of hair on his head if it's real it's a little bit weird i don't know it's but it's definitely not a one it doesn't look bad what did i just say it, it, i'm just gonna put him on a, on a two okay then we have jeffree star how do i even start judging jeffree star he uses a lot of wigs but i think his normal hair's color is blonde and it looks cool it looks really cool but this dude really knows how to take care of his hair like jeffree star is highly aware of his hair i'm gonna put him on a four okay so ksi normal dreadlocks and the blonde tip do you know what i mean i think i'm actually gonna have to put this on a five i know a lot of people don't like this hairstyle but why i want to put it at a five is due to the fact that it's so recognizable it's such a good way to brand yourself you know like as soon as you see his hair you know who it is you know what i mean it's just becomes a thing that's so so easy to recognize and that's so important in this youtube business you know five it might not be like a five out of five hairstyle but just you know it looks cool it's super recognizable it's so him now like he owns that hairstyle so it, it's like a genius form of branding yourself and having a cool hairstyle and it's just bada bing bada boom 
Kaisai with red hair. Um, it looks good. Same kind of here. Uh, he's pulling it back now, but it's not as recognizable as the first one. So I'm gonna have to put it at a four. I, I think his hairstyle is really, really goddamn cool. I'm kind of jealous. I want to get dreads myself sometime. But um, yeah, he he just pulls it off amazingly. <laughs> the next one, Theo Vaughn, the Wrath King. This dude deserves an instant five. He deserves a god tier. Listen, Theo Vaughn has a mullet, okay? A mullet, and he pulls it off amazingly. No one in the history of the entire world has pulled off a mullet like the Ovan has. Besides, one guy called MacGyver. Boom, enough said. PewDiePie with his short hair. Now the thing is, he has a really nice head shape. He does. His head is perfectly fit for having short and also medium hair. I'm gonna have to put this on a three, which is a goddamn compliment because Joe Rogan is at a three. High three, obviously. All right, so next one is PewDiePie with hair. With the silver hair he was rocking for a while, this just looked good. So this is a, a definite four. So next one is Logan Paul. Whether you like it or not, I'm kind of a fan of Logan Paul, I'm not gonna lie, like he, I think it's a cool guy. Yeah, so Lo Logan Paul, Logan Pool, he has had the same hairstyle pretty much forever since we got to know him, you know what I mean? But it's the, one of the only hairstyles I think at this point he can pull off because I know his hairline is receding a little bit, which is obviously not his fault, but it's it's like, it looks really good on him, but I, I it's gonna be hard for him to like switch up and do something else with his hair. But at the same time, it, it looks just good. It's, it's kind of like his hairstyle, you know what I mean? And he suits it, so. It's either a high three or a low four, but it's like putting him and KSI in the same cat. It's hard. It's tough to do. I'm gonna put him up. Am I? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. High three! Because a three is like when people see you, it's like, okay, that's good. That's like a cool hairstyle, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's not like super, super recognizable or whatever, okay? Shane Dawson. I'm gonna put him like here. Alright, alright, alright. So then we have James Charles. Jamie boy, James Charles. Okay, so where do we put Jamie? James Charles has one of the most perfect Justin Bieber, old Justin Bieber hairstyles. You know what I mean? The the standard hair up, uh, short hair. It's just, he's done it right, okay? And it's him now. He owns that hairstyle. Him with a different hairstyle would just be, it would, it would, it would be kind of weird to see, you know what I mean? Th this is God tier. It's five. That's him. Like, he has he knows how beauty works. He owns it, he rocks it, and that's a five. I'm not gonna lie, that's a five. And then we have my boy, Dre Drexler, okay? This dude deserves a four above PewDiePie. Dre really knows what he's doing. I should put him on five for for like knowledge of hair and education and stuff on his hair because he knows everything when it comes to hair. Is it as catchy as KSI's dreads? We have Cody Ko. If you know, you know. Cody Ko has a standard hairstyle, nothing special, and I think actually Dre is winning this round. I'm gonna put Cody at a three. He makes hilarious videos, but a three it is above here. I think he deserves to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then people, we have David Dobrik. David Dobrik is kind of like Mr. Beast. He doesn't care too much about his hair style it seems like obviously he does but it's like he's you know it's just he does his hairstyle and then you know he's out filming but it suits him it's nothing too special i think i'm gonna have to put him just above mr beast actually high to low three sorry, sorry all right people and then we have the last one which is myself uh, where do I rank my hair myself? <laughs> I'll rank my hair at a high four. It's long, it's unique, I take good care of my hair, it's become part of my image, and someday, when I get bigger on YouTube, someday when that happens, I'm gonna be at a five. When it's become really, really well known out there in the world, I'm gonna be a five. And guys, we have no one on one. Now we do. But, um... Alright everybody, so that's it for today's video. Please comment down below from 1 to 5. How do you think my hair is? Is it a 1, 2, 3, or 5? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below like if there was someone you really felt was supposed to be higher or lower. And give this video a like. My hairline is receding a little bit and every time you like this video, you save one hair straw. So I don't want to go bald. Please, like just please like this video. I love you. And also join the best family on YouTube. I love you and I'll see you next Sunday, okay? Every single Sunday I post a video and I want to see you beautiful face there next Sunday when I post a new video. I hope you enjoyed this video as I told you. Take care of yourself, don't cough in people's faces, and take care of your hair. And yeah, see ya.